we, we continue the space theme actually because Star Trek, which is a, uh, it's actually not a novelty song, but I just thought I'd show you that that I've actually got it in my collection. Uh, the firm, serious fun. I've got a funny deja vu feeling that I've shown you these already, but that's okay. I mean, we are doing a novelty novelty record program at the moment. That's the 12-inch version of the Time Lords. Yeah, of often known as the Jams or KLF. Doctor and the TARDIS. Is that old car? I wonder where they picked procured that from. Here's another one from Mecco again. Mecco came back to haunt me. Uh, the old Ewok celebration. I've got a seven inch of this hiding somewhere too and I can't find it but it's but it's there in the collection somewhere. And uh, this too, continuing the space theme, Stuck on Earth from ALF. And my record's about to fall over. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Star Trekkin from the firm. And I just noticed that this one's got a. Oh, look, I've got. Hang on. Star Wars and Galactic Funk. I think this is an album. Yeah, it is. So, I've got the whole Mecco album there. There is one about inspired, a Mecco inspired album for American Werewolf in London. I never saw it, but I think if I stroll into a record shop someday and it's there, I might just pick it up. Although, it's not a real soundtrack. I'd like a real soundtrack of that, actually. Now, this one here, Cole Elliott, and it's Zara I'm Lost Again. Now, this record and it's also got an old um, uh, top 40 chart from 3XY I think it's from 1989 88 88 okay it's in perfect condition too top of the charts then don't worry be happy <laughs> number one if I could 1927 Coco uh, Kokomo mm, the, the Beach Boys when a man loves a woman Jimmy Barnes groovy kind of love by Phil Collins, and, and The Only Way is Up at uh, six years in the plastic population, which I have. Now, anyway, getting back to Zara, I'm Lost Again by Cole Elliott. Uh, Cole, El Cole, sorry, Cole Elliott is a comedian in Australia, and he um, often sings a whole lot of really rather rude songs. Um, but in this case, I think this came out just after E.T. came out, not long after, even though the chart says 88, but it's got nothing to do with it. Basically, Cole in this is a bit of an old drunk, and he goes out the back, and he finds an alien there, and the alien asks for help because he's lost. And you know what? It makes me cry. <laughs> it's really like, it's, it's really soppy. Television's greatest hits. Um, it's got Jane Get Me Off This Crazy Thing, which you might remember, I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's a 12 inch. Um, oh, ostentatious. Now, another one of his records was uh, popular in Australia. This one really wasn't, but this is a gem. Uh, he, he's taking the, the absolute piss out of The Phantom which is a guy in the middle who's a popular um, Australian crime-fighting hero thing person who lives in a cave and has a wolf called Devil. And it was a very, very popular comic way back in the day. Um, there, there's some people out there who are dedicated Phantom fans and they collect everything related to the Phantom. But, yeah... Um, yeah, somehow I don't think that's, that's Devil. I think Devil shrank in the wash. But, so that's that. But this is a very funny record. Uh, if you can get a hold of it, I 
highly recommend it. I think I've seen only part of the uh, video on YouTube, but I'd really like somebody to upload the whole thing if they could, please. Not, um, not a novelty record as such. It's just a, one of those records that just didn't quite make it. But it's Sub Oceania by uh, the Tom Tom Club, who were famous for another song that you might remember. Hmm? But this was, this was quite good. I thought this was quite strange. And the video is quite strange, where uh, the lead singer is actually a jellyfish. Uh, love it. I just, I think it's really quite nice. I must look it up sometime. I must get it and play it. You know, I usually what I do is, yeah, when I say look it up, I don't, I have a, I don't have a record player here. So what I do is I uh, look it up on YouTube. It's, for me, it's just easier than going, oh, that, that record, where is it? And then none of my records are in order. I've got 800 records, but I don't have a proper alphabetical system they're all just sort of jumbled up so it takes me about half an hour to find things so unless I know exactly where they are so no I just play them off YouTube I know the compression's awful and stuff but you know never mind ah seven inch singles uh, to be or not to be the Hitler rap Mel Brooks Hole in my shoe from the unfortunate Neil from the Young Ones. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me slowly. Hit me quick. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini by Bomba Luna. Bomba Lurina. Bomba Lurina. It's not the, the original group, it, but it, it's okay. It's fun. Morris Minor and the Majors and Stutter Rap. Not really a novelty song, but uh, Jane's Getting Serious by John Astley. Not Rick Astley, John Astley. Um, and I'm, I'm really only showing you this one because it's, it, it, I would call it a pop song. But it does have elements of a novelty song. When you see the video... It's got gorillas dancing in it. It's quite fun. I think I had a bit of pasta sitting on my, my lip the whole time. Did I? Did I? <laughs> well, it's gone now. I just ate it. <laughs> Was not was. Walk the dinosaur. This is the old Beatles hit, Dizzy Miss Lizzie, by the Flying Lizards. Dracula's Tango by Toto Coelho, called Toto Coelho because there was another group called Toto that was quite popular um, at the time, and it's still pretty popular, really. Ye Old Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers. You know, sometimes I really wish that thing had plenty more focus more. Focus, you bloody thing. Focus, focus. You'll never make it in television. Monster Mash. Dragnet, the city of crime. So that's fun. Bat Attack, 1989. <laughs> 128 bats per minute. You see that? Maybe not. Monte Video and the cassettes, Shiba Shisha Shishu, which came out after their big hit, which was naturally Shoop Shoop, Diddy Wop, Kama Kama, Wang Dang. Okay. And of course, most of you would probably have this. It's Weird Al Yankovic and Eat It, which was a great song. <laughs> uh, I've also got Living with a Hernia and I've got uh, Like a Virgin like a no Like a Surgeon somewhere around I don't know why I couldn't find those but I have got them so yeah and this this is definitely a novelty song uh, Matterhorn Project and Moo 
very unusual video clip. Basically, a lot of people in Austria as a cartoon and cows and people and, you know, horny people just shagging each other and in the Alps, as I suppose they do. Ah, now I did have the 7-inch the of this, but I've got the 12-inch as well. It's Walk the Dinosaur by Waz Not Was. Uh, Australian comedy show, The Comedy Company. It was very popular in the 80s. Uh, I did show you this because I did do a coloured vinyl. did do a few coloured vinyl shows before. And this is uh, Ghostbusters, of course, by Ray Parker Jr. Um, massive label in the middle. It only just plays from there to there, of course. And uh, it's got all the details on that side. So that's in slime green, they called it. And there's a red one around too. And there's apparently a glow-in-the-dark one, which... Um, which apparently is uh, looks fantastic in the dark, and I collect glow in the dark stuff too. As a matter of fact, is this a is this a pop song? Is this a novelty song? I don't know. Out of noise, beatbox. It is kind of. It was just very unusual. Alexis Sale. You remember him? He was the guy who uh, was the landlord in the Young Ones, and this is his song. Hello, John. Got a new motor. And basically what I think he'd done, he's got a whole lot of English phrases and he basically stuck them in a hat and he pulled them out and that was the lyrics of this song. And I just want to show you this. This was my very first 12 inch. It's IOU by Freeze. Uh, so, yep. And I, I, I can remember when I got this, I, I was thinking, I was listening to a 12 inch extended show on, I think it was Triple RFM. It's a local station here, and um, he kept talking about playing 12 inches, and, and I'm listening to these these songs, and I'm thinking, well, you know, I've never had a 12 inch before. Where do you get them? Where do you even get them? And I went into a record shop and found that, and I thought, oh, it's got that's on a 12 inch. Do you remember the the first 12 inch you ever bought? Eddie Huntington with uh, Meet My Friend, which is all about his penis. Charming. I think I mentioned it yesterday. Uh, Ostentatious again. I showed you the Phantom. This was his hit. This went to number one on the charts here in Australia. And basically it's a spoken word thing. There's no music at all. It's just a stand-up routine. And uh, it's got offensive language. Okay? So don't play it around the kiddies. Well, the first side's not bad. There's a few drug references, but that's about all. But the, the B side is really rather nasty. <laughs> it's a very funny record. And that's on YouTube. There. So um, definitely look at that and uh, have a bit of a laugh. It's lots of fun. Cliff Richard and the Young Ones, Live and Doll. And that's Neil over there. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I've got my finger on him anyway. There he is there. Who sang Hole in My Shoe. And Hole in My Shoe is actually an old hippie song from way back. And I can't remember who sang it. But anyway. Living Doll by Cliff Richard. And the young one's kind of screwing it up. And this was for Red Nose Day uh, years back. And... And I hope that it did the job and raised a bit of money for the charity that it was meant to uh, help. So good on you, Cliff. Good on you, young ones. Excellent. I like that kind of thing. And lastly, before I go and tune out, The Art of Noise with Max Headroom. Paranormia which you just happen to love. There is also a brilliant mix. I don't know whether you've seen it. I hope you have. But it mixes uh, Simple Minds, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, and Art of Noise together. And I think it only goes about two minutes or so, unfortunately, because it could go a lot longer. And it's brilliant. I think it's, it's called 
Don't forget to relax about Paranormia. Look it up on YouTube. It's excellent. Uh, if it was ever released as a record, I'd buy it. Definitely. Um, the mix had been around for some time. I think the guy who did it originally put it on SoundCloud. And then someone said, oh, I think I can make a video of this. And they did. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wolfie Rankin. And I'm glad that you've been watching my videos. So very pleased, very, very pleased. If you want to contact me, I am contactable on YouTube. But you can probably get me much better on Twitter. Uh, Wolfie Rankin, uh, you can probably see there, written there, that's me. Uh, you see this logo anywhere, that's me. Uh, I'm on Discogs and G Plus and Facebook and Flickr and all kinds of things. So just look me up and say hello. And that's it. Uh, don't know when I'll be back. Uh, I've, I've pretty much finished collecting records for a while, um, I, unless I come up with a concept like this to just show you what I've got in my old collection, that might be all right. Um, but until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.